Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cross Patching. Now today I want to show you how to build a mixer setup very similar to the one that I'm using here. You can save this as a macro, use it in patches, or even make it your opening patch. Now our core mixer is going to be the mind meld, and there's two versions. There is the Mixmaster Junior with eight tracks and the regular Mixmaster with 16. But I'm going to be using the one with eight. Now the great thing about this is that you even have an expander so you can have more aux effects like a reverb or a delay. And we are going to be using the MindMeld aux expander junior. And if we just place it right next to it, you can see that the seam disappears and becomes just one larger object. Now what I also like to do is I like to add a delay. Oh, the delay. And the Chronoblop 2 by All Right Devices is a fantastic delay because you can also sync it to a clock has different CV inputs for its speed and different delay types. And I tend to put it into this third inlet. Let's go here and here and go back here and here. And then the best reverb, in my opinion, in VCV right now is plateau from valley you do the same thing here now what we want to do because we are already using this kind of uh, dry wet send and return signal is we want to go to a reverb and put it all the way wet because the dry and wet things are happening with those knobs. Same thing with our reverb. But let's maybe put down the size a little bit. And then one thing that I also would like to add is a simple recorder. So you can also record your tracks. And this one we're putting out here and here. And then if you have something like a fader box or a knob box, I have the Arturia MIDI mix. You can MIDI map all of your faders and knobs like I did with the um, mixer that I'm using right here. And what you now have is a little mix station. Save that into a strip macro, load it in, or you can also save the template. And then it will always be your opening patch. The only thing that you need to do to get going is create an audio module and connect those two main outlets to your outputs. And there you have it. Simple mixer, very effective, has the bass effects like delay and reverb, and is wonderful for your workflow. So I hope, so I hope you've enjoyed this more practical video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.